Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. As you can see, we are staring at the nose of an RTR. That's because I've been doing some behind the scenes testing on this RTR. And this is a RTR Mustang based off the Forza, um, a di you know, Forza model. Did some m little changes to it for myself and things like that. But I have to do a big thank you to uh, a good friend of mine known as Vakari, who actually works with RTR. So giving me some data for the engines and everything like that. So that this car is a very good RTR. So we're going to go full set on this. Like I said, I've been doing some secret testing with this car. And uh, today we're going to take it for a full shakedown here at Irwindale and some other tracks. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which you found in the description box below. So we're doing a full shakedown on this. If you caught my Instagram story, you did see a bit of this car running at uh, Daytona, ESDA Daytona, which we're going to go back and run it again as well. So we're going to go full send here at Irwindale. Click entry. Oh, thought I was going to smack that wall. I'm going to lay it off the wall a little bit. into that zone on the second part of that. Probably a little bit lower than I wanted to be on that zone, but overall not too bad of a run. We will take two runs and we'll go take a look at the replays of this. This RTR, definitely a lot of fun. Got some uh, modeling changes I want to do, updating the interior of the engine bay and stuff like that. But it's definitely a very awesome car and can't thank, you know, Vakari for allowing me the use of some of the data off of his RTR here in Assetto, which is the closest you're going to get to the RTR engine. So, one more lap here. Probably wanted to be higher to the wall, but we'll see where we actually are on the wall with the replay. Probably going to smack that wall, but tires look like they're pretty uh pretty up there in the wall so so overall two very solid runs in Irwindale and we're gonna go take a look at that replay and take a look at the two runs I think I want to go camera 12 maybe is it 12 nope I think it's 14. All right, so this was the first run in the RTR and uh, definitely been having a lot of fun with it. It's getting super dialed and this is definitely a car that I've been working with behind the scenes for a little bit. And we were up there, pretty decent on the wall. And then going on to the inner bank, looks like we uh, managed to Hit a pretty solid interbank run on that one. And right on the wall there. So the first run was pretty good. The second run was actually way better. So we're going to take a look at the second run. But like I said, this is a car I've been working with behind the scenes and, you know, working with this car to make it super fun and amazing to drive. And that motor is just screaming because I did like the motor that I was running in my S15, which was an RTR motor. So we decided to go to a full RTR right now and rock the RTR chassis and do some testing with it. And that is a solid run. Ooh, right on that, almost taking that rear quarter off. Almost had a bumper budget going on. So we're gonna change up tracks and do some more shakedowns with it. So let's change up tracks and see what we can do. So this course is definitely a very love-hate relationship with me. Um, Long Beach, it's either good or bad. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna have to use the box cam for the replay because I don't have the replay angles in for this version. So we'll send. Oh, there was a, I knew that was gonna happen at least once. There was 
a bit of a bumper budget there. But uh, we were looking pretty good. And then I know it was like, yeah, I'm going to float, but I'm going to go full send. I'm committed anyways. We're going to go full send. This car, definitely a bigger car than I'm used to because uh, all my other cars are a bit small. So I've got to get used to the distance of the back bumper of this car. Got a little short, but... Not smacked the wall that time. And throughout the end. So one thing I did notice about this is running this car with this motor at full max like i think it's 1200 some horsepower is insane uh i think i'm running it down at about eight or nine hundred horsepower ish right now so we're definitely going to be uh testing it in higher rpms and higher you know power but for right now getting the jive of this car in about the 800 horsepower range is quite good and i feel like it's really quick too the final run here so if we can not smack the wall. That's better. Ooh, yeah. That was really close to that wall. Try and stay in fourth. Oh, that was a much more solid run. Much more solid run. So let's go take a look at those runs. Not the first one with the bumper budget, but the other one. So like I said, we're going to have to run box cam with this. Just because don't have the replay angles and stuff. Yeah, this is, we'll take a look at it anyways. There it was. <laughs> I knew we were going to the wall. It was just bound to happen, but I was full committed anyways. Well, let's take a look at this second run, which is actually pretty good. Other than going through there. And a little bit of way too but not too shabby. This run, I think, was the best run of the three. And this is definitely a run that uh, would be pretty decent. Yeah, really nice entry. Really hard on that wall. Really deep on that wall. And deep in that zone as well. Little transition here. A little shallow on that transition. But overall, that was actually extremely nice. So. One more track, and we're going to see where we're going. So, would not be complete if we didn't come and do it on the road course where I originally started testing this car at Daytona Road Course. So, we can do two quick laps here and see what we can do since you guys have seen me testing on this track a lot recently. and really smooth and I can't get over the fact of how well this car is driving right now we are on you know VDC style physics and everything like that and it makes me think maybe I should have been running an RTR sooner but one final run then we'll take a look at the replays make sure you guys follow me on all social media I'll let what you found in the description box below that's a cone we're gonna full send it anyways We still managed to make that lap, even with that weird entry. This car is just super smooth right now, and I can't, can't, uh, can't think that I should have been running this in ESDA this season. But you know what? There's always next season and always other seasons coming up here soon. Yeah, 
that was a nice solid initiation. Deep in that zone, deep in there. Right in that zone. Kind of running that line where we need to. Didn't even punt those. Nice smooth, nice and deep in there. Right on there. That was solid, solid run. So, like I said, this is a car I've been testing with and I'm going to be doing a lot more testing with. So make sure you follow me on all social media. I'll in the description box below. Big thank you again to Lucario for hooking me up with some of that data. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.